Hello out there to all my beautiful spooky people. Just a quick update to let you know what I've been up to and where all my creative energy is going these days. On Wednesday, I drove up to New York with my husband and I finally did a show at Rock Bar with the White Elephant Burlesque Society. If you follow my work at all, I'm sure you know that I've been a member of the White Elephants for many years. I've done a ton of conventions with them and special events. But they're based in New York and New Jersey, and I'm based in Richmond. And that means that I don't get to do a lot of their shows. White Elephant is really good, Victor Devon is really good about making sure his performers get paid. But when you're driving several hundred miles and spending all that gas and tolls and so on, even getting paid, if I'm lucky I break even, and that's before we account for you know, costumes and props. So usually, if I'm going north just to do a white elephant show, I end up losing money on it. Which is fine. Ultimately is fine. I love performing with them, I love doing burlesque, and I love the atmosphere that white elephant fosters. But it means that I can't do it all that often because it, like I said, does cost me money rather than make me money. In any case, I spent a lot of time in the last couple of weeks constructing a fairly major piece of prop and just doing my choreography and sorting out what that number was going to look like. And I'm hoping some footage will surface of the number itself. I didn't think to hand my phone to anybody and say, here, film this. And also, I kind of hate handing my phone to somebody and saying, here, film this. Unless it's someone I brought specifically for that purpose, right? Like, watch the show. Enjoy the show. Don't worry about whether or not I'm in camera or in focus, etc. So I'm hoping somebody took some footage of it, even if it's not the whole number, I'm hoping to have at least a clip that I can share. Uh, but it was a great show. It was a goth-themed show, which is, I think, why Victor reached out to me specifically. They do a show there every week, every Wednesday night. In addition to the tolls and the gas, etc., Wednesday would mean usually one of us taking off of work or both of us taking off of our day job. That's part of why I it took me two and a half years to get up there to do a rock bar show with them, even though that's how long they've been doing shows at rock bar. I will say that doing this show has reminded me of how much I love doing burlesque and how much I haven't fulfilled my goal from last year of returning to the local burlesque community. I did a Burtonlesque show last October, it was amazing, I met some new people, um, rekindled ties with some people I already knew in the community, it was lovely. And then I didn't really do anything else. I also kittened a show that same October, but again, after October was over, I thought, whew, I'm gonna take a rest. October was crazy. I gotta relax. And now here I am in August going, huh, I haven't, I haven't done any Richmond burlesque since last October. Whoops. That being said, Burton Lesk is in the works once again for October, and I've been invited to join the cast again since I was part of the original cast, which I'm very, very excited about. I don't have all the details for that yet. I don't want to make any claims that I can't necessarily follow through with, so we'll end there with just, I've been invited to do it. It is my intention to do it. That'll be the end of October. I think the 21st and the 29th are the dates we're looking at. I don't think I can do both dates, but I'm hoping to do at least one of them. I also am putting in an application for another burlesque show also in October here in Richmond, and I need to start coming up with some new numbers. Part of the reason I haven't done any Richmond burlesque, there's one other show that actually just came up a little while ago, I think I just missed it, I meant to go see it and missed going out to see it, that I was going to apply for, but I didn't have any ideas. Like I loved the concept of the show, it was a cryptid show that Burlesque Right Meow put on, and I loved the concept of it. And I had one sort of half-baked idea that I mentioned in passing to one of the burlesque right meow performers and directors. And she said that that particular cryptid was already taken and then I didn't have any other ideas. And the next thing I knew I was seeing announcements for it going up. So I need to get on that and apply more frequently to perform. And also just spend some time building acts. You know, I have a lot of acts, but the ones I really like, I've done a thousand times. I'm happy to bring I Put a Spell on You, Marilyn Manson's cover of I Put a Spell on You, to a Halloween or a witch-themed show. Happy to do it. 
I love that number. I love performing that number. I've performed that number at least a dozen times. And that's true of a lot of my favorite numbers. Um, Here There Be Witches, I've performed several times just in the last few years. Dances the Sky Crashes Down, I have not performed in quite a while, because for a while I performed it at almost every show I did. And this is what I'm saying. I need to spend some time building numbers that I really love and that I can either costume relatively easily with only having to make or purchase one or two pieces, or spend the time actually making those costumes and those props, even if I don't have a show booked for it yet, because then when a show comes up I can say, hey, I have this number, you should put me in this show. So that's the plan for the next few months, and like I said, hopefully in October doing one if not two shows in the Richmond area. And by Richmond area, and at least one of those cases, I mean DC, because I just remembered that the date I am more likely to be able to do for Burton Lask is actually going to be a DC show, which is super exciting. I made my New York City burlesque debut on Wednesday night, just two nights ago, and that would be, if I do Burton Lask in DC, that would be my DC burlesque debut. My DC debut in general. I've performed in New York before, non burlesque related. Never to performed in DC though, so that'll be exciting. So that's what I've been up to for the last few weeks, what's been taking all of my attention and energy in terms of creative will and time to create. And now I'm gonna try and dive into a little more local burlesque. That's the goal. Mm -hmm.